Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to set up a simple load balancer using Nginx in Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. Okay. So here I'll be using Linux containers in order to show you that if you don't know how to use them, you can just take a look at my previous videos, okay? And also I'll be using as web server Nginx, which is a very famous uh, web server in Linux, okay? I've done also a couple of videos about uh, Nginx, so you can take a look at them, especially using Docker, okay? So let's get started. So first of all, let me show you the Linux container that I'm running now. As you can see here, I have a couple of running containers. I have Alpine 01, Alpine 02 and Load Balancer itself. So first of all, I will create another uh, web server using one of the images here or containers here. So the command is pretty simple, lxc copy. I will copy just a container, for example, Alpine 01 and create another one exactly the same as this one, but let's call it Alpine 03. So we'll have actually three web servers running the same configuration. Okay, here we go. So Alpine 03 has been created. Let's confirm that with LXC list. And indeed, it has actually been created. So let's now start it. So I will use the command lxc start alpine03. Here we go. Let me clear that. And once again, shows you the list of containers that I have. And indeed, now alpine03 is running and it has this IP address. Okay. So, let me show you the configuration of Nginx inside it. I will use the command lxc exec alpine. So, as I told you, alpine is a very small, secure and also simple Linux distribution. Okay. So, it's used by default the ash shell. Here we go. So, now we are inside Alpine 03 okay let's go directly to the actually the index page of the nginx web server so I have created here as you can see site demo which is a repository for my web server here and let's edit index.html page so here I will just change it because this one was from Alpine 01 so now I'm inside Alpine 03. So let's just change this display message to hello from server 3. Okay, here we go. Confirm. And now let's take a look at the configuration file of Nginx. So by default, it's located in ATC Nginx. And the name of it is nginx.conf. So it's very basic, simple configuration of this web server. Okay. It has actually just listen on port 80, but here I guess we have to change the server name. Normally it's the IP address. It's not this one because as I told you, we have copied from Alpine 01. So this is the IP address of Alpine 03. We can just uh, change it with Alpine. 03 okay so now we have our three servers running so let's first exit from alpine 03 here we go so now we are going into the load balancer to see the configuration that will make actually a load balancer okay so I will use the same command, but instead of Alpine 03, this time I will go inside load balancer, which is also an Alpine distribution or Alpine container. Okay. So make sure here we use also the Ash shell. 
So now we are inside our load balancer and the most important thing is to see the configuration of Nginx because here we are using Nginx as load balancer. It will actually, I will show you just in one minute the configuration. Here we go. So this is the configuration of Nginx as load balancer. So we have here, as you can see, the context HTTP, which is required by default. And in order to have load balancer, we add this context here called upstream. And you can call it whatever you want. I call it load balancer. And here you add the list of servers that you have. So here I have the first two ones, but I have created another third one. So I have to add it here with each DNS name. Okay. And of course we have here the server context, which default, it's very simple. I have listen on port 80 and server name is the IP address of this load balancer. And here the most important directive is proxy pass. And here we provide actually HTTP and the name of the upstream. So take a look here, this load balancer here is the same as this one. If you call here something else, you have to change this proxy path to reflect what you have here in your upstream. So now I have finished, so I have to quit. And of course I have to restart or to reload the configuration with this command, nginx service, because here I'm using Alpine as Linux uh, distribution. Here we go, I have no error. So now I have actually set up a load balancer to load balance between these three servers. So here I have three web servers and we're gonna see what's going on when we launch this load balancer here. So we can just uh, first exit and we can create a script that shows you how load balancer works. So here I will just make loop of 0 0.5 half seconds, okay? And this loop will actually just do occur on the HTTP of the IP address of the load balancer. So by here, as you can see in the table, the IP address of the load balancer is 10.59.218.235, okay? and we are done here okay so this simple script or command actually if you want will curl the load balancer every half a second so here i guess i have done an error yes we have to get rid of this trailing backslash here actually so here you can see load balancer is working so it get a response from server one then server two then server three then server one that we called road robin load balancer so our load balancer is working perfectly here it loads actually from the three servers in the road robin methods okay so as you can see it's pretty pretty simple to make load balancer using nginx okay as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye